the Antarctic Peninsula is heating up almost four times faster than the global average. Warming oceans and air temperatures are accelerating the ice melt on land and water, and new data shows sea ice around the entire continent has reached a record low this year, and there's still another few weeks of the summer left in the southern hemisphere. Take a look at the latest satellite mapping of Antarctica. The orange line shows the long-term average for sea ice at this time of year. And this was the ice earlier this week. The scale shows a lot of what's left is patchy. Turn that into a chart and you can see the sea ice melts through the summer until the beginning of March. This is the average with some variation from year to year. The previous record low was last summer and this is the situation now, the record beaten. And it's a similar story in the Arctic. Winter should be a time when the sea freezes over, but this year it covers a much smaller area than normal, particularly in the north of Europe. There's the UK and Scandinavia. For much of the winter, the extent of the sea ice has been tracking below average and the previous record low set in March 2012. North and south, sea ice is shrinking. That has a big impact on polar animals that depend on sea ice for rest, shelter and food. But sea ice also drives global ocean currents and weather patterns. And scientists returning from Antarctica warn the loss will affect us all. One of the, the interesting things about sea ice is when it forms, it releases salt in the ocean and salt makes that water heavier. So it sinks. It's one of the driving forces of the conveyor belt. So the Gulf Stream that goes past our shores is actually driven by what happens in the Antarctic as well as what happens in the Arctic itself. Ditto with the, with the, the jet stream. The jet stream is affected by what happens in the polar regions and therefore those meanders that we saw, if you think of the Arctic, the beast from the east, that was all driven by what's happening in the Arctic. Sea ice has been shrinking in the Arctic for the last four decades. The shift in the Antarctic is much more recent, but it is dramatic, and scientists don't fully understand why it's happening now. Thomas Moore, Sky News.